Are you or a loved one suffering after buying Bitcoin? Are you fed up with the huge returns on investment? Fed up with all the financial sovereignty and freedom? Perhaps you're annoyed with Bitcoin's level playing field and predictability, or maybe you're just disheartened with its strictly limited supply and constant growth of your purchasing power. Whatever it might be, don't worry. Central bankers have got a plan for you. Introducing Central Bank Digital Currencies, or CBDC. It's just like Bitcoin, but without all the freedom, revolution, and financial gain. The idea is simple. Why have control over your own money and life using Bitcoin when you can let an entrenched communist central bank oligarchy control it for you? So what inspired us to create CBDCs? The short answer is, you did. When we looked at all the amazing benefits that Bitcoin brought to people all over the world, like financial sovereignty, freedom, sound money, free markets, and free speech, we thought, wow, the debt slaves are getting a bit too close to stepping off that fiat plantation. We better do something about this. Whilst Bitcoin had a good run, it's time for fresh ideas. And who better to deliver them than the people that hyperinflated and destroyed the current monetary system and global economy? Yeah, yeah. Freedom has, has way too many responsibilities. Slavery, on the other hand, uh, they take care of everything for you, right? Nope. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. My name is Zuckerdowski here of WeArchange.org, and there is some absolute chaos brewing in the world right now. Will the authority figures help us out during these key crucial times? Nope. They will not. This as they keep protecting absolutely absurd ideas and principles, which are leading us into a crescendo moment of madness. This as there's a Crazy development happening right now in Ukraine, a huge national disaster that we're going to be talking about in this video in a larger context, specifically the bigger ramifications here, since this is a very big deal. We're going to get into that plus a lot more all here on this independent media broadcast that is supported by you getting in the shirt like the shirt that I'm wearing right now, which you could get on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. And the clip that we played in the beginning of this broadcast is done by Sharky Bit that released this satirical video, we will make sure to, of course, link their YouTube channel so you could watch their full video. We only played you a small portion of their satirical video on central bank digital currencies that, of course, the internationalists and globalists are very eagerly waiting to, of course, implement. This video, absolutely right on the money, very funny. And we definitely need more comedy in our modern political discourse, as of course, before getting into some of the larger geopolitical and foreign policy devastating news, let's talk about news domestically, as a lot of the NPCs are talking about the latest mind control device released by, of course, Apple, that is pretty much going to be selling a cell phone strapped to your eyeballs, sucking away your soul for uh, a couple thousand dollars. All of this as Lululemon is implementing a very bold marketing strategy today as their CEO just announced that he is standing behind a very controversial decision to fire two staff members that objected to having merchandise from the store stolen from it. Yes, you heard that correctly. The CEO of Lululemon Calvin McDonald went on CNBC and says that he stands by his decision to fire the employees because, quote, it's only merchandise that the thieves were stealing. And uh, if you're trying to sell clothes, uh, I don't know, that might not be the most convincing way to do so. All of this is crime is going up dramatically, especially in major urban areas all throughout the United States, especially in places like New York City, where the local government there is prioritizing a new voter base of new immigrants, increasing the cost of living and housing for the rest of New Yorkers living in that city, while, of course, decreasing labor costs. Since April of 2022, more than 70,000 immigrants have arrived in New York City and only created more pressure on the lower and middle class of that city. This as the New York City mayor announced a new partnership to open up more shelters to these new voting bases and even floated around an idea where private residences could be used to house the illegal immigrants that have been shipped into the city. Yes, you heard that correctly. The mayor of New York City is floating around an idea 
of housing immigrants in people's private residences for, of course, uh, a fee, for, of course, some money, as, of course, the city there takes a lot of your money, and they're going to give a little small portion of it back to, uh, of course, add an additional roommate, one, to the many roommates that you already have in a city where housing costs are astronomical. And that right there is some extremely poor leadership, just as poor as the government officials at the Federal Bureau of Investigations that just a couple moments ago announced that the FBI is concerned about their informant involved in the Biden bribery corruption scandal, making a public statement specifically saying that this whistleblower will be offed, will be taken out if his name is to be made public. Yes, you heard that correctly. The FBI is publicly announcing that the whistleblower that's working with them, with the federal police of the United States that has way too much power, no accountability at all, that this huge federal police cannot protect a whistleblower from essentially the Biden crime family here. It's not like he's a Kennedy, which we're going to be talking about exclusively later on today on LukeUnfiltered.com, our own members area, as of course in today's video, I specifically wanted to talk about the very surprising comments made by Robert Kennedy Jr., especially when it comes to a lot of the controversial issues that we cannot get into here on this public platform. The private conversation is available only for members later on today on LukeUnfiltered.com. We're providing you a lot of resources, a lot of offers of value, three master classes, a forum, a members-only t-shirt store, in real life meetups, contest giveaways, you name it. We still have FloridaManTrip.com. To enter, all you have to do is be a member, fill out a form, and we will enter you into a contest that will have you doing a four-hour tactical self-defense training with myself and my colleagues here in Southern Florida, Miami, all vacation paid for trip, hotel, dinner, you name it. Whole nine yards will be given to a special member of LukeUnfiltered.com. If you haven't signed up yet, sign up right now and get this exclusive offer, plus a lot more, as well as a brand new spanking video right after this one with some very spicy topics that are definitely worth talking about. Now, another controversial and highly debated topic right now is the video coming showing the destructions of Ukraine's Kakovka hydroelectric power plant that was blown up a couple hours ago, destroying the damned air and causing irreversible ecological damage, creating a massive human disaster. And of course, will have a major effect on the larger proxy war happening right now between the East and the West, between Russia and the United States, as of course, this also changes the map, changes the theater of war very significantly when it comes to Russian troops fighting Ukrainian troops, especially in the south of Ukraine. This says, of course, the ecological damage is also very significant as many towns, cities, and villages are being flooded right now, and the evacuation of these areas have just begun. And some of the videos that we're getting early on are very devastating, showing specifically entire communities, entire buildings, all underwater, which is going to be displacing thousands of civilians, as of course the likelihood of this dam being repaired is going to be extremely low. This says, of course, there's still no confirmation who's responsible for this major devastating move that, of course, is a major game changer to this entire global conflict here. Now, of course, you have the Ukrainians blaming the Russians, the Russians blaming the Ukrainians. All of this is we still do not know exactly who is responsible for this, but it is important to note here that with the destruction of this dam, water supply to Crimea will be cut off, this being a major issue for the Russians, which many political strategists have even theorized was one of the reasons why this conflict originally started. This dam was originally built during the Soviet era in order to help farming and the irrigation system in the south of Ukraine, as of course Ukraine is known as the breadbasket of Europe. With no water, no agriculture, no irrigation, this will of course not only have a larger impact on the people of Ukraine, but the people of the world, as of course Ukraine is a major food exporter. All of this, as according to Reddit, we already found out the Russian general that was allegedly responsible to this as, of course, they're shifting blame on particular individuals. But I think figuring out exactly who did this, why did they do this, is a lot cloudier than 
what a lot of Redditors would like you to think right now is, of course, it's important to think long-term strategic assessments here, as, of course, the south of Ukraine that's being flooded is going to be currently under Russian control predominantly. Now, there was scuttlebutt and information specifically that the Ukrainians were trying to conduct a southern offensive that would have utilized a lot of amphibious military hardware in order to specifically try to take back the southern parts of Ukraine, that now this offensive was stopped by this destruction of the dam, which leads some circumstantial evidence to the possibility of Russia doing this. As of course, there's also a lot of significant evidence suggesting that this was Ukraine. Ukraine right now is calling Russia a terrorist state and alleging that they are fully responsible for this. And it's important to note here that Russia does have a long history of attacking Ukrainian infrastructure before. Now, who's ultimately responsible here? Well, it's also important to note here that the West and specifically NATO and the Ukrainian military have been known for fibbing a lot here as well, especially when it comes to, of course, all the information that came out through the Nord Stream pipeline, which somehow they're blaming on the Russians. Now, to add another aspect here, allegedly there's also radioactive silt from the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear disaster that, of course, will also have devastating effects on the south of Ukraine. Territories, again, predominantly held by Russia. Will there be any kind of nuclear fallout here? Well, again, only time will tell. Is, is that just a sensationalistic aspect here? Well, who knows? This not only being the only major piece of infrastructure that we should be keeping our eye on, as of course, there also have been a lot of developments with the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant that might create another kind of Chernobyl-like event as well that is worth looking out for. Again, this whole entire situation is a disaster. A lot of innocent human beings are paying the ultimate price just because governments can't figure out their own differences and who they want to tax for their own personal benefit. A a again, the idea of war is an old archaic idea that should be thrown out just like the previous ideas of royalties were thrown out from our modern day society as, of course, the banksters usually finance both sides and the ultimate winner is the military industrial complex and no one else. Who do you think is responsible for this larger attack on this key piece of Ukrainian infrastructure? Let me know down in the comment section below. Press number one if you think it's Ukraine. Press number two if you think it's Russia that is responsible. Let's do this poll down here in the comment section. Start the conversation. And because you guys do that, because you guys watch this video, because you guys go to LukeUnfiltered.com right after this one, this is why. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.